By the way, just a little side note, G4's parent company is in fact Comcast, who is of course a competitor of AT&T. All right, let's get into it. My guest tonight in Washington, D.C., the executive director of Free Press, which coordinates SaveTheInternet.com. Josh Silver is joining us, and in New York, managing editor for SiliconAlleyInsider.com. Peter Kafka is back. Gentlemen, welcome to The Loop. Uh, Josh, yeah. I'd like to start with you, sir, because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I thought AT&T spent like six years and six billion dollars fighting the government so they wouldn't have to police their network or so they wouldn't be responsible, but now they want to play traffic cop? Exactly. They spent a lot of money to make sure that anything bad that happens on the Internet over their pipes, they wouldn't be responsible for. So the logical question is, what the heck are they thinking? Right. I mean, this why, is, Josh? So, so let's ask that question. It's, why? It, it's technically difficult to do. It's legally questionable. They're doing it for two main reasons. Number one, there's a lot of fear in, in Hollywood about movies and other content and, and bootlegging. And AT&T thinks they can set themselves up to make a load of money from these big studios like NBC. Remember, they announced this deal with NBC last week. Secondly, they see this as a foot in the door. Remember net neutrality, the law that says AT&T can't make extra money by charging people extra money to, to make stuff move quickly on the net? Right. Well, what they're trying to do is basically get a foot in the door because right now it's illegal for them to block or discriminate Internet content. This would allow them to do it. All right, Peter, what's your take there? Because I, I'm sure AT&T has a completely different set of reasons why they'd want to do this, right? Yeah, I mean, well, the, here's what they won't say. I mean, the, the, I think the Hollywood connection is important to bring up again because AT&T really needs Hollywood, not necessarily because they're going to make a ton of money from NBC, but because they don't want to be a dumb pipe. What they really want to be, actually, is a, is a cable provider uh, like Comcast or Time Warner Cable. They're trying to build out a TV system. They need to convince the... Uh, producers, Hollywood, network, et cetera, that they're going to give them their copy safely, and part of this is sort of a carrot and a stick. So they need to get Hollywood on their side here. It's not necessarily a money thing. All right, it's sort but, of a lining thing. But, Peter, what about, uh, and maybe, maybe I'm, uh, you know, thinking of a utopian future here, but what about maintaining, you know, the network integrity or keeping speed up for users? Is there any of that at play here, or could uh, AT&T th care there's less? A, there's a legitimate argument that the bandwidth hogs, and AT&T isn't the only one saying this, again, the other, the other ISPs are saying this, that the, the top percent of the bandwidth hogs are taking up... Uh, a huge chunk of stuff. It's not really a problem now because there's plenty of bandwidth, but over time as put more and more folks start downloading movies, doing iTunes rentals, doing HD downloads, etc., um, there is a consideration that the download speeds will slow right. down and that'll be an well, issue. Yeah, but, but keep in mind though, guys, you know, it's because of the laws that AT&T and cable companies have passed, they've boxed out competition. So we see 98% of people in this country only have a choice of one or the other, cable or uh, DSL or both. And we're looking at the United States. We've slipped from, from first years back down to 16th in the world in broadband right. speed. So and and, and Josh, to that point, a lot of people are saying if AT&T goes through with this, and we'll get to the privacy issues in a second, but they're saying, I I'm going to jump. I'm going to get rid no, of them. They're not I'm going to go jump. to somebody else. But I mean, where could they jump to? Out, well, some of them. They, they, have a, they have a couple choices, but the reality is, you know, no offense to the G4 crowd here, but, but most people really don't care about this stuff. It's a very small vocal, but very small group of people who care about this stuff. We ah. saw 1.6 million people send in petitions against this net neutrality stuff at SaveTheInternet.com. I don't think that's really true. I think the fact is, is if AT&T spent as much money increasing the speed of their networks and less on these kind of harebrained deals that would allegedly you know, try to actually figure Josh, out what's you, bootlegged you, you, and what's not. We look, I, 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 I agree with you philosophically, but the reality is it's, a, it's very easy to, to send in an Internet petition to actually go ahead and switch an Internet uh, provider or, or your cable company. That's awfully tough, and you're probably not going to do it because you want to get more pirated right. copies of movies. All right, now, but, but let's talk about the average user, Peter, because, yeah, they may, not, they may not understand net neutrality or understand why they should care, but if they receive a, a notice or if someone tells them, hey, by the way, AT&T is looking at your packets, which means they might be reading your emails or, or viewing the videos that you're downloading. I mean, when that hits, Look, could the RIAA has, RIA has been suing people left and right for several years. They just, pour, they just sued and, and won a huge judgment against some poor woman in Duluth, Minnesota. 
for, for, for pirating uh, uh, songs. Uh, it hasn't slowed it down one lick. Um, it's not. So really you don't think there will be privacy concerns if something like this goes Look, through? There are privacy concerns, but there were privacy concerns uh, a couple years ago, the NSA stuff, and, and it was a big deal for a couple days, and I don't think anyone remembers at this point. That is yeah, true. I don't agree, you guys. Let, think about it. They're talking about spying on every single piece of information that goes across the Internet on AT&T pipes. I mean, this is the same company, AT&T, turned over millions of private phone records of regular citizens, people watching this show, over to the government under the auspices of the Patriot But we're not Act. arguing about whether I mean, that's a bad thing or not, Josh. We're arguing about whether people care. But, and, and show me you, where, where people abandoned AT&T or didn't buy an iPhone because they had a problem with AT&T's privacy policies. Well, you're, br it's not you're bringing up the competition issue, though. If there's actual competitors and people have choices, I would argue for sure they're going to bail from AT&T. All right, well, very quickly, because I, I want to hear from both of you then. Uh, assuming, you know, competition aside, privacy aside, Final word here, Josh, is AT&T going to go through this with this plan? What's actually going to happen here? Well, they're going to try, but the technology isn't even there. I mean, what are you going to do if you're, you send a, a legal piece of a song or something and they block it because they think it's a bootleg? What are you going to do, call AT&T customer, customer support? You think they're going to actually pick it's up? a valid point. Peter, what do you think? What's going to happen a here? AT&T gets it both ways. They, they will pull back from this a little bit, but they will also convince Hollywood, and this is where this is aimed at, that they're going to do something to prevent rampant piracy, and they'll win on both sides. Interesting. I want to get into that NBC connection more, but we're out of time, so maybe we'll have you guys back. I really appreciate Appreciate you joining us. Thanks to Josh and Peter for keeping us in the loop. Attack of the show, weeknights at 7, only on G4. Working every day to unman the front lines. Attack of the show. Attack.